praise team singing. I feel good. Anybody feel good today? Anybody feel like giving God the glory? Anybody feel like giving God the praise? He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God on today. Uh, knowing that God is the God of all things. Yes. He's a God that cannot fail. Yes. Uh, we give honor and praise to all these wonderful preachers being in the yes. house. To give you more to the lay members. Yes. Our sister back there in our uh, media, our internet media. Uh, elder, elders, elders, we thank God for you. First lady Barrett is in the building. Yes. God bless you. We thank God for uh, Brother Wayne and my wife and children. Yeah. My friend and brother. Yeah. And another mother. Yeah. Pastor B.R. Yeah. Barrett. Yeah. He in the house. I wouldn't give him the same, but he looked like he's so. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, by the grace of God. Uh, Lord have mercy. If I could sing it, Doc, I would sing it for you. <laughs> Sing it ain't my forte. But I thank God on today. We're not going to hold your pain. We give honor to the Spirit of Christ, who is definitely the head of our lives. Uh, come on, go uh, to 2 Samuel 9 chapter. Read. And David said, Is there yet? any that is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. Mm -hmm. And there was of the house of Saul a servant whose name was Ziba. And when they had called him unto David, and the king said unto him, Are thou Ziba? And he said, Thy servant is he. Mm -hmm. And the king said, Is there not yet any of the house of Saul that I may show kindness of God unto him? And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan hath yet his son on his feet uh, and the king said unto him where is he and Ziba said unto the king behold he is in the house of Machir the son of Amel in Lobar uh, and the king then king David sent and fetched him out of the house of Machir, the son of Emel from Lodabar. Now he, now when, um, Lord have mercy, Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was come unto David. He fell on his face and did reverence. And David said unto Mephibosheth, and he, and he answered, Behold thy servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I am surely, surely show thee kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake. And when and will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continuously. Somebody say continuously. Continuously. And he bowed himself and said, What is thy servant that thou shouldest look upon such a dead dog am I? Somebody say, Am I? Am I? Am I? Then the king called to Ziba. Saul's servant and said unto him, I have given unto thy master's son all the 
all that pertain to Saul and to all his house. Thou therefore and thy son and thy servant shall till the land for him. And thou shalt bring in the fruit that thy master's son may have food to eat. Uh -huh. But Mephibosheth said, Thy master's son shall eat bread away at my table. Somebody say, My table. My table. Now Ziba had 15 sons and 12 servants. Then said uh, Ziba unto the king, according to all that my lord the king had commanded his servants, so shall thy servant do. As for Phoebus said, said the king, he shall eat at my table as one of the king's sons. Somebody say king's son. King's son. And Mephibosheth said had a young son whose name was Macca and all that dwell in the house of Ziba were servants unto Phoebusel. So Phoebusel dwelled in Jerusalem for he did eat continuously, say continuously, at the king's table and, and was laying on both his feet. We want to start right there. Uh, we read until you're hearing the whole chapter of uh, Second Samuel, the ninth chapter. Uh, uh, we see here David uh, decides with his uh, kingly self to uh, give kindness unto uh, uh, somebody that was in Saul's house. Now, now, I want you to understand here, David was the king, and being the king, he had uh, everything in his power to do whatever he so wanted to do. Yes. And, and he grew up in Saul's house, and, and, and true enough, uh, Saul uh, was uh, jealous of, of David. And, but Saul had a son named Jonathan, and Jonathan loved Saul, and Saul loved Jonathan. Not to the point where it was a homosexual uh, thing, but it was a point to a friend and a brother. Uh, it was a point to where I got your back, man, and you got mine. And then David, uh, after they had died, and after Saul died, and all his sons, he was looking for somebody to show kindness to for his friend's sake. Yeah. I don't know if you ever had a friend, but when you got a friend, uh, you, everything that's his is yours, and everything that's yours is his. If y'all really entwined like that, then you are able to call upon your friend at all times. Yeah. David here calls to the servant of Saul, says, is there anybody, anybody. that I can show kindness to? And the servant says, yes, uh, uh, Saul had a son named Jonathan, you know, and Jonathan had a son named Phoebusel. And the story of Phoebusel is, uh, 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 while uh, he was uh, a young boy, a young baby, a young lad, uh, his nerves grabbed him up because they were scared of David killing him and went to run with him and dropped him. I want to stop here and ask you, have you ever been in somebody's arms and you thought that that was the best place you could be and they fooled around and dropped you? Uh, have you ever been in church and been in the pastor's care and, and the pastor just made a mistake and fooled around and dropped you? Yeah. It, it will leave you lame, broken, crippled, and confused. Yeah, yeah. No hurt is like church hurt. No. And, 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 and this man uh, uh, finds himself crippled by somebody else's mistake. Crippled by somebody else's deficiency. And, and, and all his life he wasn't able to walk. Was not able to get around. Was not able to play deacon like other children. 